in the bloopers, aren't you? Mm-hmm, probably. <laughs> Hey folks, welcome to the farm. Um, that over again. I wasn't recording. Right. Yep. Hey folks, welcome to the farm. It is July 5th. Uh, I hope all of you had a wonderful Thanksgiving. <laughs> Patrick. Hi. Say hello. Hi. Hi. Man, it is muggy. My screen's fogging up. This is the first time we've done yeah, this. We are that down that way. It doesn't have to. Absolute amateurs. Let me know. See, he's he's implanting your opinion in your head so that you have to. That's how that's how brainwashing works. You're not asking for an opinion. You're asking them to agree with you. Absolute meatloaf goodness right there. The crazy thing to me is watch her cut this open. Oh. <laughs> This is, this is what I grew up with, is these two imbeciles. <laughs> um, I'm at the way I can fall in Jordan's crossing, and uh, I can't get these goats and check the box trail and into the canoe to get across the river. Hey, everybody. Hello, folks. Good evening. So, I rearranged my screens here. That took me off. I was looking at the wrong screen. How's everybody doing tonight? Let's see what we got in here. Some Simply Jan Homestead. Kent Patton. Tina Ladybug. Ed, Southern Lights Homestead. Southern Woodworking. Paffer, Coupon Gale. So how are you in... Let's see. I thought I saw Gale Southern living in here too. I guess Gale, she's, just, well, Gale's on the, in here I guess is, she's is, just on the, the coupon. In coupon. One. So Coupon so, Gale. We got Micro Farmer. Um, how are you, Homer? Well, we're going to be up in a couple of weeks. We got Crazed Family Homestead. We have Highland Maybe. Homestead in here with a fresh new logo that looks fabulous. I call it a thumbnail. That's a great, that's a, that one sticks out really, really well, Eva. Well done. That H and H is like poof. Awesome. As soon as, as soon as you came up, Eva, I recognized that immediately and said, all right, she was. She I applied like it. it. It looks great. So who we got? So we got Roland in here, getting it done north of seven. How are you, sir? Look Down at Roland's under. video that he did today. He was talking about the dangers of of garage door openers. I was <laughs> I was I was expecting him to say that it like flew off and almost hit him, but it wasn't. It was like an Easter egg hunt in his garage, looking for a for a damaged spring. That was a cool video, Roland. Roland says Eva is popping. <laughs> it well, is. It looks well, look awesome. at it. I mean, it just sticks out really, really well. That's that's great job, Eva. All right, so let's get rolling on this. We got, uh, I said rolling, not rolling. <laughs> so we got 19 folks in here already. That is fantastic. Uh, Darren in here from Down Under Farm and Forge, Healthy Homestead Chick. Uh, Yowls. Hopping Hilltop Farm. Very good. They've been interacting with us. Uh, kind of came on to our live last week, and, and we've been been uh, commenting on some of their videos. So welcome. Hope you become We are a... glad that you are here as well. Huh? What? They said that they're happy to be here. Oh, I said okay. we are happy that you are here. <laughs> All right. So let's get rolling on this. So as usual, we start off with shout out. So um you know we shout uh, we shout norseman honey out uh, each week I, ha- I don't see him in here yet but he uh last week during our kid family farm live stream um which was fantastic it's it's that was a great great time i loved meeting mac and his kids and it's truly a family operation so 
I think he's working, so he won't be in here. I think he's got every other every other Wednesday he works. And uh, so uh, during that live stream, Norseman Honey uh, did a super chat. So I just can't express how appreciative we are. Um, all of the money that we get from our super chats, it doesn't go into our bank account. Ultimately, we'll go to the bank account, but it goes to basically do these giveaways that we do. Um, we strip we, it right back out of we, there. Yeah, we we, <laughs> we give it right back out. So it either goes into Amazon gift cards or or into T-shirts. So it's really, really appreciated. Um, Silhouette Park Farm, welcome. So I got on as as usual. I got on this morning and I no sooner got out of my driveway and on the road when you went off. Um, so I wasn't able to chat with y'all this morning, but uh, I'm glad you're in here. Um, Nona Grace, welcome. Um, Paula Wells, uh, last week during... Down on Boddington Farm. That morning is... from Australia. All right. Morning from Australia. Still up part welcome, Farm, welcome. Oh. Another mate. All right. Well, we got a lot of... Hello, I, mate. I, I... Lala and I got to do a cruise to Australia. A friend of mine did one that went from basically it was like a week and a half long tr cruise around um, from Northern Australia to Southern Australia. And it was like, that would be such an awesome trip. And then maybe I could connect with some of our, our some of our Australian mates. So that would be cool. Um, Paula Wells, super chat on last week's uh, um, live stream. Uh, Paula, she gave us a of a Christmas super chat. So Paula, thank you, thank you, thank you again. Um, it's really, really appreciative. Um, again, we we plow that money right back into the giveaway. So we've been giving away a lot more shirts and, and things like that. And hopefully, you know, we were asked several weeks ago about, you know, are we happy with Teespring? I'm not sure who it was that asked us that. And processing wise, I've been super happy with Teespring. Um, but they really, really have limited merchandise. So I'm, I'm at this point looking for other options out there because this is what I want. Yeah, we. This is what I want. That'll kind I of probably that. be the deal breaker. Is one that we can get a good quality hat yeah. um, through, um, or even a, a beanie. I mean, I would, I would actually love a a beanie. I mean, we can source them externally, but then we got to do all that shipping. I don't want to do all that stuff. We did that for the first six months of our channel, and yeah. and. It's just a. It's just very time consuming to to Paula go to the. She got her shirt yesterday. Whoop, whoop. Paula did. Yeah. Outstanding. What I would like to see is you know the hats that I know you don't like flat bills and I don't like flat bills either. I, I like a little bit of curve, uh, but um, they I can't remember exactly what it's called, but you see the ad or at least we do because you know we I guess we're searching merchandise or whatever, but um, the hats that have like the badge. It's like a or like a like a patch, but it's either a rubber patch or a leather patch that's right. been like laser engraved. I would love to be able to get those with. I mean, I of think course. those things look awesome. So we're looking at hats, and uh, you know, it's funny that I thought you know I, I've just never. I buy a hat, I wear hats. Um, uh, I got a lot of hats, but I couldn't tell you the first thing about a maker of a hat. Rick, tell them about what you know about hats. Like brand names and styles. Well, like, oh, you got Richardson, you got the yeah, you got the full cap. You got the hat, you got the full cap, which is like what my big noggin needs. Then you got the half cap, which is more like what this is. This isn't my favorite the favoriteest of hats. I need to get this patch onto a full crown hat. See to I like me full crown hats. See, to me, a hat is a hat. I don't know how it's, to differ. It's right? not. When Any you get a watermelon size head from from Lala, <laughs> mom, you don't have a lot. You don't have a watermelon size head, I but don't. you get a bowling ball head. You got the George head, which is my mom and dad's or my mom's parents. You get this bowling ball That's head. Her the side, side of the family, not her parents. Only one parent. I have a massive head. I have to shrink down my head in all the thumbnails to make sure it doesn't engulf his. My head's like huge compared. He's got to make it look like one of them Beetlejuice heads. So, so that it's <laughs> tiny. He's got a big old noggin. Um, so Paula Wells, thank you, ma'am. Um, and a shout out to all of our moderators. You know, sometimes we have multiple in here. Sometimes we don't. Uh, but Simply Jan's Homestead, uh, Highland Homestead. I think we got Jan and, and Eva in here tonight. Paula Wells in here every week. Petway Family Farmstead. I watched uh, James, uh, his video 
couple of days ago that he put out, which is kind of an update on Angela, his wife, who was diagnosed with COVID and was in intensive care. Um, it sounds like she, she's um, kind of on decreased oxygen, is doing much, much, much better. So, you know, all you prayer warriors out there, it worked uh, and continues to work. Um, so uh, watch Petway Family Farmstead for updates on his wife. Um, James is positive as well, but is having none of the same types of symptoms that his wife is having. Uh, Tony Walsh, as always, Tony's in and out. Um, but uh, there's, like, there's five moderators in here right now that I've there? seen so far. Simply Jan, Highland Homestead, Paula Wells, Walsh Farms. Oh, and I didn't Roland. see Tony come in. So Tony, welcome, buddy. Um, Adventures of Frank and Tina. Uh, Ed's attention to detail. Ed was in last week and then rolling it, getting it, rolling, getting it done at north of seven. So uh, thank you to all of our moderators. Um, just a, a really huge debt of gratitude to all of you um, for the work that you help us with. So, um, uh, hey, Dad. Yes. What's your hat say? I'm getting to that. That's the next. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, Last week I skipped my hats, you know, as you know, I kind of, I've got a big hat collection, a big military hat collection, and I'm always getting new ones, um, a lot from my family, from other folks, so um, this is one in my collection, this is the USS John McCain DDG-56, and you ask what is DDG-56, it is an Arleigh Burke class Navy destroyer based in Yokosuka, Japan. Um, and the reason I have this is this is, again, to memorialize uh, the loss of sailors and to remember uh, those lost sailors. On August 27th of 17, the USS John McCain, uh, while transiting off the coast of Singapore in the Singapore Straits, uh, collided with a commercial tanker. Uh, Ten sailors were killed in that accident and 48 were injured. So, uh, as always, I try to remember uh, those smaller incidences that, for the most part, unless we remember them like like forums like this or we commemorate them, um, those sailors' lives will be forgotten by all but their families. And I kind of make it my role both here and on Facebook um, and in my regular post to try to commemorate uh, those who have who have lost their lives. Uh, in service to this country. Help them um, not be forgotten. So, absolutely. So, that's the USS John McCain. Name there that. are two very pretty ladies waiting to come on right now. I, I'm not even talking to them, but they're laughing already. <laughs> well, that's like, I, I, I told Lori, if she's going to come on here, it's got to be Lori and her mother, because the two of them have infectious laughs. So um, I want to welcome, Evelyn, and we haven't even started. <laughs> it just kind of goes on around here. <laughs> well, that's what I told Rick. He asked me, you know, when he was setting this up, he said, well, what do they do? And I said, well, they do some gardening. They do some crafting. They do some cooking. They do some food preservation. But most of all, they, they laugh a, a lot. Of laughing. Yeah, we laugh a lot. A bunch I of laughing. Farming. <laughs> she does farming. <laughs> On they the laugh. computer, computer laugh. farming, it's not not the same. <laughs> so everybody in the house, we got uh, thirty four people in here, Lori. Wow, um, my welcome, God. welcome, Lori. And I'm just going to call you Mom. Is that okay? I'm Sharon. Sharon, can I call you? Do you want to call Sharon? You can or call me Mom. Mom. You can call me whatever you want. Right, I'm going to call you Mom. <laughs> All right. <laughs> just don't call me late for dinner. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so she said she's cooking tonight. <laughs> yeah. Well, you got an important role. You got to make this quick, then. <laughs> right? I should videotape her cooking tonight. No. Oh, no. We no. went all we went all in tonight. I mean, it, it was a struggle. Pizza, Pizza Hut. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was last night because it was my yeah. night to cook. Yeah. <laughs> so, what do you have for dinner? Uh, ribs. All right. Ribs oh, and mashed potatoes. Wow. It's one of her I specialties. One of my. We're in the wrong part of the country, <laughs> Outstanding. <laughs> All right, so so everybody, welcome, Lori and Sharon, otherwise known as AKA Thank Mom, um, from Lori's world. Now you guys are out in, as I as I understand, you are in uh, Vancouver Island, British Columbia. 
correct? On Vancouver Island, yes. On Vancouver Island. On Vancouver um, Island. And so, so we're so for those, we are north of Victoria. Okay, okay. So by my my snooping around your channel, so and this is kind of funny. I mean, I it's it's interesting when you go back and look at these channels, all channels. Um Look at some of their older videos when they first got started. And your oldest video, do you know how old your oldest video is? I think it's 11 years now. It's 11 years ago. Yeah, what was yeah. It? What I, was was a, it? I was a teacher at the time. <laughs> One of the, the subjects that I was teaching was video production. So I kind of just got dropped into that and I had to learn it really quick. So I started a... The uh, Google Channel and and yeah. <laughs> so you figured you would you would publicize your wedding. So that was a wedding. Right? That was our wedding. It was your wedding. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Some of my family couldn't make it, so we had um, we had I think it was Dave's nephew shot the video for us, and and I put it on my YouTube um, so that family could see it mostly way back then, and then I didn't do anything with my channel for. You know, ten years. Nine years to be exact. Nine years. <laughs> <laughs> okay, nine years. So, so after eleven, after a nine-year hiatus from her first video, Lori and Dave's <laughs> wedding ceremony, um, she posted another one two years ago. We you know what that her too at that wedding. Do you know what your one two years ago was? Uh, I might have been making a dollhouse. No, it was. It was. It 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 dealt with probably the most spoiled, the spoil most spoiled thing in your house as I get. Oh, it from your shadow! Room. It was it was a cat shadow video. Shadow gave the massage, right? <laughs> yeah. so, oh so, yes. So after after she did her two years, she edited her cat video, and then since February twenty fifth of nineteen, you've put out two hundred and eighty three videos. Yeah. You you you've been a busy lady. Um, <laughs> A lot of it focused on gardening, crafting, DIY, and uh, spoiled cats. And spoiled cats, and spoiled yeah. Cats. And a spoiled mother and a spoiled husband. <laughs> there are there are a lot of spoiled cat videos. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know what's funny you is that it's, ask who's it's spoiled, spoiled around here. Well, I know who's spoiled. <laughs> oh, she's pointing. At, she's pointing at you. So neither one. If both of you are going to say it's not the cats. <laughs> Anybody yeah. watches those it videos are going to disagree with you because they follow they follow those cats around like minions. They just whatever that cat wants, the cat gets. So yeah. the cat was just in here asking for another <laughs> massage. She was just before he came. Was one of the things we were laughing at before we got started. <laughs> so Lori's channel currently has eight hundred and thirty eight subscribers. Um, so. You're jamming, so hopefully you'll get a little bump tonight. Um, so you're on Vancouver, British Columbia, and you know, so Vancouver Island. We're actually Vancouver near, Island. I'm sorry. So nearest so, Nanaimo. If you've ever um, heard of Nanaimo bars, about three or four years ago, Lala and I took a cruise up to Alaska. We we left out of Seattle. And yeah. our stop was Vancouver Island. Coming back, and we went to the Bouchard Gardens, Victoria. And, Beautiful. Absolutely the most beautiful gardens I have ever seen in my life. Um, so we actually highlighted that that Christmas ornament on, on our Christmas tree this year. Oh, um, nice. Just nice. absolutely nice. beautiful. We had a blast there and, and very, very memorable. So that's just a beautiful area. Very yes. beautiful. Have yes. you lived there your whole life? Hmm? Have you lived there your whole life? No. <laughs> <laughs> all right it sounds like there's there's something and there's something to that story <laughs> well i was born in alberta okay. um and i didn't like it she didn't like being born <laughs> I, didn't like, <laughs> I didn't like alberta it's cold there uh, and i know that there's people here in alberta and a lot colder places than that but I didn't like the winters there. They, yeah. So when I was about 18, I moved down to the States. My mom is an American and her and my yeah, dad were divorced by then. And she was living thing. back down in the States. And 
And I moved down to live with her. That's when I was like 18. And I got my green card and basically lived in the States for the next 30 some years. Well, she says that, Sharon, like it's a bad thing. She's an American. <laughs> Well, it's not, it's not, it's not a bad now. thing. <laughs> she acts like she lived with me for 30 years. She lived with her for 30 years. <laughs> yeah, we haven't been living together for our whole lives. Mama's girl. <laughs> <laughs> so your description says uh, um, that you are a multra, multipreneur. Do you remember? Yeah, absolutely. What, is that, what does that even mean? I don't think that's in the Webster's Dictionary. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> What does that mean? It means that I do multiple things um, for work. Okay. Uh, I work for myself. I'm, I'm fully self-employed. And mostly what I do is social media and website design and, uh, and that kind of stuff. And I, I have two clients that keep me quite busy. And I take care of all of that stuff for them. I built their sites. I maintain their sites. I add content. I do all their social media um, and all that kind of stuff. And I work from home, from a home office. Now, and you, do the, you do the management of it or do you do the actual, like, design, like, visual? I do all of it. That's what I'm talking about. Cool. Yeah, I do all of it. I do the, except for one of the clients, I even host her site on my, I have a hosting account. I have my own domain name, laurysims.com. Do you want to go to it? It's got some of my art and explain some. Well, Lori, you're like, you're like competing with GoDaddy. It's what? You're like competing with GoDaddy. <laughs> no, GoDaddy is, is my provider. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so anything that I get, they get pretty well. But <laughs> so you say I like to keep busy in my spare time. Doesn't sound like you have a lot of spare time. So watching your videos, you obviously manage your time gracefully. Um, <laughs> started crafting and now making useful art and jewelry. I love my garden. Determined to make a success of it this year. So um, if you're not familiar with with the thing that I, I met Lori through. Um, meatloaf wars is when I first was exposed to Lori's channel. Um, because every time we got a new entry into the meatloaf wars, um, oh, anyone who's not, God. anyone out on here, that's not familiar with that. That was a collaboration that we did probably four or five months or so ago. And, um, it was basically a competition to see who could make the best meatloaf. And then the community voted on it. And, uh, that's how I met Lori, and, and and it's really I've been kind of visiting her her uh, channel ever since because it's just a hoot to watch. Not only the content, but just watching her and her mother and her husband interact is just entertainment in and of itself. It's better than Netflix. You could drop your whole Netflix account and just go watch Lori. <laughs> yeah, you'll, you'll get a laugh or two for sure. <laughs> well, I've got. You know, here um, this is all. I'm, this is this is your this is your uh, um, teaser. Okay, I'm going to make everybody laugh with probably a one minute clip from one of your 300 and how many videos? <laughs> from one of th eight uh, 283 videos or 285 videos, I found one minute that I'm going to play later, and I'm not going to tell you what it is. So <laughs> you're completely in the dark. And I guarantee no, people, will, people will be chuckling, but that one minute segment kind of um, characterizes kind of the interaction that you see on Lori's channel. It's just very, very funny. Oh, I um, so. <laughs> want to know something? What's that, Sharon? <laughs> that, that kind of interaction goes on from morning till night around here. And it's, and it's part of what has made it successful that, that, mother-in-law is living <laughs> here uh, with the kids because without a sense of humor, <laughs> we would have never made it. <laughs> well, that's awesome. That's awesome. All right. So first, you know, I want to talk about some of your videos. So what's that? I said, thanks, Island Homestead. I just caught the message that came up. <laughs> um, so, this, you know, over the holiday season, particularly in December, you start seeing a lot of, and even within this community, or there are several on here that uh, um, that I saw videos related to gingerbread making. And 
Lori did a gingerbread, uh, <laughs> made a gingerbread house. Um, where am I going with this, Lori? <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> It was a beautiful gingerbread house. <laughs> so Lori did not go to Costco, Walmart, or wherever you go in in <laughs> British Columbia to get gingerbread houses. Lori made her own gingerbread. And her and her husband sat there making their gingerbread house. How'd it go? <laughs> it was it was wonderful. <laughs> Everything just fit together like it was it was meant to. Oh, lies. <laughs> it did taste good. Where it did the... taste really good. It's all gone it? now. I mean, we ate it. Boots and bonnets yes. want to know where the Santa pants are. <laughs> They're packed up. <laughs> I tried to find my Santa hat for last week and Lala couldn't find it. And she Aww. Went, but instead of taking responsibility for that, because she does all the Christmas stuff, she blamed my daughter, who's like in Washington State. She's she's out there on the other side of Puget Sound, so of from Seattle, um, out in Bremerton, Washington. Well, she wouldn't want to blame anybody closer. <laughs> well, she can't. She's completely helpless out there, so she can't defend herself. I mean, the daughter that's so far away has the excuse not to bring it, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh. Real life with Michelle and Rob. Sorry, can't stay. COVID is kicking my butt. Well, oh my goodness, Michelle or Rob. Sorry to hear that. Uh, go get some rest. I'm glad you joined us for a little bit. Oh, wow. I'm crying here. I hope you. I hope you get better soon. Um, you know, it's it's funny because I've I've seen I've heard Dad say it uh, at the very beginning. Your your laughs and your interaction interactions. Uh, or you better watch your mouth. Yeah, your interactions, <laughs> um, your interactions are very infectious, and I have seen it. And I'm sitting here, and I'm off camera because I'm managing everything on the side. But I'm like sitting here this entire time with this ear to ear smile and watching everybody in the comments. The oh, laughs are infectious. I love your laughs, and and there's a lot of people i just want you to know there's a lot of people if you guys can't read them right now while you're doing the live there's a lot of people that are showing some love so nice. well, that's, thank you guys yeah, that's, that's what so i had <laughs> that's what i had to tell rick when he asked me because i kind of brief him on on what kind of led me to invite different channels or, or kind of what my feel is for those channels so he can kind of do the thumbnails and i said they do a lot of cool stuff but the thing that will keep me watching that is just it's it's like watching it's like watch it's the same reason people watch jerry springer <laughs> because you just don't know what's going to happen next you don't <laughs> don't know, I what's don't know what's going to happen next <laughs> so christy boots and bonds with chris and christy i smile the whole time i watch <laughs> I mean, even if you don't laugh, I would challenge you not to smile watching Lori's videos because they're just funny. I I didn't laugh at many of the meatloaf videos, but I laughed at Lori's meatloaf video um, <laughs> because she's brutally honest with with everything on tape. And I don't know how much editing she does because if it comes out of her mouth, it generally goes into the video. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I cut out the boring stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so so we already talked a little bit about the cat. So my comments in my in my notes from looking at the videos is that the real rulers, it looks like, of your house are the cats. So how many cats you got? Three. And how many it videos? Started do you, out with five. How many videos do you think you have of your cats? Not that many. Uh, ten or eleven, maybe. Okay, I saw a bunch of them scattered throughout there, and I know yeah. one, of them, one of them is Pudge. Yeah. That's a very well deserved name. She's the one who yeah. likes the, the massage. She's a big one. Yeah, she that's that that she don't miss a meal, does she? No, not at all. <laughs> or Tabby's meal. Yeah. She'll eat all the leftovers too. Coupon Gail from Gail Southern Living says Lori has a great laugh. <laughs> Paula Well says I'm smiling the whole time, even while retrieving links. Love it. <laughs> so what do you think your most popular video is Lori. do you know uh, oh yeah absolutely it's the one of my husband cutting my hair yeah you know yes, that my one. cats know how to play fetch one of them does anyway <laughs> <laughs> but yeah definitely the one of dave cutting my hair so how i mean I, i'm gonna be completely honest when it when i read it i'm like 
he is not going to give her a buzz cut. And, <laughs> and then he pulled out those scissors like they do when I go to super cuts, yeah. just like right up the back of your head. And I'm like, this is just not, I can't watch this. And, <laughs> and it didn't go that direction. I must say he did a really, he did a good job on your hair. He really did. You guys, I want to, I want to let you know that you've now broken a record. We have 43 viewers right now. Oh, so, <laughs> congratulations. Yay. <laughs> so, Everybody go over and check. I mean, if, if, if go over and check Lori's world out, Lori's got a, she, it's a, it's a really great channel. It's down, very down to earth. You know, you go to some channels, very pretentious. Lori, there's nothing pretentious about, about Lori or her mom or her husband. It's just, they, they're just, they just enjoy having fun and they got great content. So I don't know um, where Dave is. He's hiding. Yeah. He was going to come and say hello, but he'll pop in. He'll pop in. So, <laughs> What were you thinking? So you kept bugging him to give you this haircut, right? Yeah, for weeks. And what was his, I'm, I'm sure he had reservation. He was terrified. <laughs> I'm, I'm assuming that he's not a classically trained barber. <laughs> no. <laughs> that was, he's definitely was not. Was this a first? This was the first time he had ever cut anybody's hair. There's somebody just subscribed to you. Yay! All right. Yeah. <laughs> Look at, you know, <laughs> so if you are my... a new subscriber to Lori's world, she just sent me a message uh, from her phone. She will do a happy dance every single time someone subscribes and leaves <laughs> leaves a comment in the link in, in the comment yeah. section. Just let us know yeah. that you subscribe. <laughs> I want to, that's right. Let's let's make Lori do some happy dances, baby. <laughs> <I don't> even, <laughs> happy dance all day long. Oh, good Sometimes funny. I drag Dave into it too, and he happy dances with me. Not on camera. Not on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Mom's not fast enough with the camera. Yeah. So so here's a funny story. I tried to cut my hair one time, and this is literally this was 1985. Um, I was, I was in the military. I just did happy dance time. The tinkerer's wife. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I wish he would have put my name in my hair. I'll subscribe, then resubscribe. I'll unsubscribe and then resubscribe. <laughs> Grow something with Jeff. So I was in the military. I was stationed out in San Diego. I just finished boot camp. We were in my first school and we were, and I was going through a, uniform inspection part of that uniform inspection make sure you got your hair all cut and your you know everything is perfect on you well my i had i had started to grow a mustache and it was a little bit long and so all i had with me i tried to keep the on the razor that i had was an electric razor i tried to tried to kind of trim it off and i trimmed it off a little bit too much i'd never used this thing on the back of the razor and i cut the whole side off so then i ended up shaving my whole mustache off so <laughs> So a smart man at that time would have stopped. Do you think I stopped? No. My hair was a little bit long in the back because I could feel it because it stuck out from underneath my cap. So I, in the mirror, with one in front of me and one behind me, tried, oh, to, no. tried to trim my hair in the back, and I ended up cutting right down to my scalp. And it was... And it was right at the line where my cap was. So I'm in the middle of inspection. And from the front, I look really good. Then they walk behind me. And I've got this bald spot right in the back of my head. And I could hear his steps. And he's coming up to me. And all of a sudden, those steps stop immediately behind me. He said, who is this? <laughs> it went downhill from there. So I don't cut my own hair. And I would never allow my wife to cut my own hair. So you are one brave woman. And he is an extremely brave man. Yes, yes, he is. You know, there's certain. I, I had to promise him over and over and over again that no matter how bad it turned out, I would not be mad. There are certain things that a man just cannot do, and I cutting my wife's hair would be one of those. I would <laughs> never, ever do that because if it went wrong for any reason, I would never hear the end of that. Hair grows back. I told him he could shave it bald if he wanted to. I didn't care. Just get it up off my neck. Well, that's what 
So that was like clickbait then, because that's what your title said, is he was going to buzz your head or something like that. That's yeah, what I shave was my head. I begged my husband to shave my head. So that's what I was expecting. Do it. <laughs> so I saw, I saw a thumbnail on an announcement that you got coming up for coming up. So what's that, what's that announcement? What do you got coming up on, on a live that you're doing or something? Yeah, I have a live tomorrow at 2 PM Pacific time to give away the prize for the hashtag. Let's make soup wars All right. uh, collaboration. So anybody who made soup, then they were added to the list and we will draw the name out of a hat tomorrow. I may. And here's my confession to you, Lori. I made soup. Uh oh, but there was no audio on the. Oh no! no, no (laughs) audio. I made this stuff that my, and and it sounds kind of nasty, the name of it, but it's a it's a depression era soup with, and I used goat meat, potatoes, and onions, and it's a and it's a dish that my mother used to make all the time when I was growing up, and she got it from my father's mother. Um, So my father was born in 1930. And um, he got it from his mother, and it's a dish, and it's a kind of a soup um, called slumgullion. And um, it yeah. have you ever heard of it? Yeah, yeah. Yes. I'm from I mean, the south. Yeah, I mean it's a it's a very cheap dish to make, and and she raised four sons making this during the depression, and uh, so that's what I made. But when I recorded it, I didn't turn the mic on, so there was no audio on it. <laughs> I actually had one that was entered with no audio. Well, I'm not going to. I wouldn't. Oh, it's too late. late. Deadline was the 21st. I would would not allow him. That would not pass my son's quality control. (laughs) (laughs) That would not pass quality control. No, I hear (laughs) you. So, well, you got another live coming up, I think. Mom's turning 80. Yeah, mom's turning 80 on February 3rd. It doesn't look a day over 21. Three (laughs) o'clock. All right. Of course. Well, happy pre birthday. That's awesome. That's awesome. (laughs) You don't look a day over. I'm going to start doing Techie Tuesdays, too. Huh? I think in the new year. I'm going to try it and see how it goes. Now, what is Techie Tuesday? Techie Tuesday is just me talking about different techie tools that you can use to do things like social media. And um, my first one is actually going to be just the basics of TubeBuddy because that's what most people were asking about. Right. So yeah, just we'll, the very we'll... basics of how you put in your title and, and you know, that kind of stuff. Uh, but then I'll go on to anything. What It will depend on what people want to see, right? I mean, I do a lot of techie stuff, so... There we'll try it out and see what happens. So tell us about your garden. Well, I guess, it, I guess it's not a garden right now, technically. It's bare naked. When you have a garden, when you have a garden, what do you grow primarily? Do you grow? Are you growing all your own food or just? Selective? Oh gosh, no. No. Gosh, no. We have a very small garden in a very small yard. Um, I have all raised beds. I think I have, how many do I have? Four, seven raised beds in the backyard, seven big ones. That's good. Cool. Yeah. And, and that's where I grow. And we have no boots and bonnets. <laughs> make, mom, make mom wear a birthday hat and count to her birthday. I can't I wanna, count that high. <laughs> I want, I want to see 80 candles on a ice cream cake. <laughs> and a fire extinguisher. You need one of them Baskin Robbins ice cream cakes. There you go. <laughs> Baskin Robbins up here. I don't know. I don't think we have Baskin Robbins. Uh, I don't think we do. They make awesome ice cream cakes. Um, yeah. I think I think that's a great idea, Chris or Christy. I think that's a really great idea. Um, so, what do you primarily grow? Any tips or tricks that you can share? Oh well, I'm, I'm actually a new gardener. Uh, last year was the first year I ever had a successful garden. It wasn't the first year I had tried to have a garden. It was like the third year I had tried to have a garden, but the first year I got eaten out by the deer, they ate everything. We didn't have a fence around the yard or, or any enclosed beds or any of that kind of stuff. 
So the deer ate everything that I grew. Um, and then the following year, Dave built me the raised enclosed beds that I have in the backyard. And, but he, they, they weren't done till July. So I didn't really get much grown in, in mm. that time. And I didn't have a clue what I was doing. So even the next year, when I had the raised enclosed beds, I didn't have a clue what I was doing. And I just threw all the seeds in at the same time. And, and I didn't really, I didn't know that you had to, mm. you know, feed your garden. <laughs> so I didn't. <laughs> yeah, nothing grew, nothing grew, and and you know I think I got like three tomatoes off of a plant or something, three little tray. You know, it, it was just sad, 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 sad. So I did a lot more research uh, over the winter of 2019, 2020, and I grew like tomatoes and cucumbers and beans and very cool. What else? Ground cherries, and flowers, and yeah. All kinds of stuff. <laughs> I grew. I started growing a garden when I was very, very young. We grew a garden every year, and I grew them up until probably my late twenties, and then work started getting in the way. So I haven't had a garden. So every year after there, after it started getting smaller and smaller, and smaller, I didn't do anything for probably ten years, and uh, so we're this next upcoming year will be the first year we've had a garden in probably ten years, um, because I've insisted on cutting back and slowing down at work. So. Mm. We'll see if that works out. <laughs> so, yeah, Tony and Leanne, welcome. So I've been waiting for you guys to come back. I was going to actually wear my my uh, NAS Lamore um, um, hat, but you guys haven't been on here. So I would have wore it tonight if I knew you were going to be on here. I do have, because he told me one time, Tony said that he was stationed at NAS Lamore, and I've got one of those hats because my daughter yeah, was stationed exactly there so. as well. Yes. So, all right. So, all right. So here's my favorite. Do you have any idea what, what you – you probably you know, any idea what my favorite video that you've done is that I've seen. I haven't seen all of them, I'll be honest. But the favorite one that you that I did watch of yours because it literally rocked my world because I had no clue. It really changed my perspective. Probably the one where mom was cussing in the backyard. No, but I'm gonna go back and watch that. What's that one called? <laughs> Don't remember. Is it is it like <laughs> is it mild cussing or is it sailor cussing? No, no, it's it's mild. I don't know that she was cussing, but she said something quite shocking. <laughs> oh, it wasn't cussing. It wasn't cussing. No. It was just shocking. It was about. It was, it's about yeah, your flowers. flowers. <laughs> yeah, we don't need so, to go there. The, 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 title, the title of the video says she said what. <laughs> So, so, so it wouldn't make a sailor blush, though. No, it was just no. us talking no. in the backyard. <laughs> no, my favorite video that I have seen, and it's because, and virtually, I do a lot of I do a lot of smoking and grilling, um, and in every single recipe that I have, I usually start with whether it's chicken, whether it's pork, whether it's beef. It always starts with smoked. Hungarian paprika. Ah. But I never knew really what smoked Hungarian paprika was. I just go to Winn Dixie and pick <laughs> it up or to Walmart and I pick up a bottle of this crazy expensive spice that literally will change the flavor in any rub that you put it in. Yeah. Um, and you did a video on Hungarian paprika. Yeah. So as, as a result of your video, the Southern Exposure Seed Exchange, has received my order for Hungarian. Oh, <laughs> so, so, Yay! <laughs> so I will be growing those this year. So tell us about that. Well, you know, I didn't. I didn't have any seeds at the start of 2020, and it was really hard to get any seeds or to go out. But I did find a local nursery that would um, send me some plants. They would deliver some plants to me. So I ordered three different peppers, and I said I want uh, a bell pepper, a mild pepper, and a hot pepper. And they sent me this Hungarian paprika pepper, and so I decided to grow it, and it grew really well, and it produced a whole bunch, I don't know, like eight or ten Hungarian peppers off of the one plant and I thought well what do you do with a Hungarian pepper you dehydrate it and turn it into powder right I mean I I, I never knew that it was a specific I mean I know it's got to be something um 
you know, got to be some plant or something. But I didn't know that it was a pepper, frankly. And um, I went to Baker Creek and they don't sell it. So I, it, so I, there was only a handful of folks that I could find that particular pepper. So what okay. I'm going to do is I'm going to take, I'm going to grow them and then I'm going to put them on my smoker and I'm going to smoke them. Then I'm going to dehydrate them and then I'm going to grind them up and yeah. see if, and then do a taste test for the difference between Walmart or Winn Dixie's. Um, there's a big difference. Jerry, well, I mean, you know, it, it's, it's very cool because there's a lot of channels that, that we follow that are on here from time to time. Um, Page Family Homestead does so much in terms of food preservation and, and uh, you know, onion powder and garlic powder and all of these things are all derived from from uh, from fresh products that, that then they, they dehydrate and grind them up themselves. So, yeah, you know, a large a large focus of what I'm going to do is is a lot of the spices that we use on a regular basis to grow them. And then and then, um, you know, the one that I can't find and, and I, I've got something. um so Tony says, I'm wearing my VA 94 hat today. I don't have a VA 94 hat. I've got the actual NAS Lemoore hat because my daughter went out there for, yes. uh, for training and that she, that she knows wherever they go, they always get me a hat. So, so you know, that's cool. This whole conversation about spices. What? Michael McIntyre. Oh, and geez. spices. <laughs> All right. What's, what's the secret? Michael Michael McIntyre is a comedian and he does a bit on the spices that remain in the cupboard and not used by the average cook. One of them, of course, being paprika, because apparently people don't use it a lot. I I don't know. I've used it for years. So, but (laughs) apparently a lot of people don't use it. I mean, we've, I've just never, I've never... (laughs) You know, I've grown spice. I've grown basil. I've grown. Yeah, um, yeah. I've I've grown. Um, what's the oregano, parsley, oregano, lime. parsley, and then there's a sage. I've sage. grown all of those in pots. Yeah, um, we yeah. Used, at our old house, we used to have a fairly large herb garden, and we'd go out and we'd collect our herbs, and we would cook a lot with that. But again, we haven't done too much of anything in probably ten years. But it's. It, I never. Ju- it, I just. You know, it was one watching that video was kind of like an epiphany, though. That wow, that's a pepper. <laughs> so, so then I went in search of that pepper and I found it. So we'll right. be growing those. So I'm going to do a video and I'm going to. And I'm I have four to... started right now. Oh, do you? Yeah. Very cool. It's very cool. Meat. So, but I use that in any just about any meat that I smoke. That's that's one ingredient. Usually, salt, pepper, and Hungarian pepper is or Hungarian uh, paprika is yeah. another one. So yeah, for so, sure. Absolutely. So um, adds attention to detail. I was also stationed on AS Lamore for a bit. So, so any, any parting words, any other comments, questions or anything for Lori and mom? <laughs> or an open book. <laughs> <laughs> What's the thing that irritates you the most Sharon about Lori? She won't give me my way, and she won't <laughs> my computer. <laughs> and if I go out of the house, she she always tells me not to lick anybody's face. Is that a problem that you've had in the past? I didn't think so, but she <laughs> think that I do that when I go out. So you were marri- You were wearing masks before masks were even a thing. <laughs> keep you from licking people. <laughs> yep, that was it. All right, well, we're going out in public. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I want to know some of y'all's hidden talents. That's another question that we, I don't think we were probably going to ask that, but I want to know a hidden talent from each one of you. A hidden talent. I don't know. No, that no one else know. knows about. Or blatantly on display because of my YouTube channel, but um, a hidden talent. Darren at Down Under Farm and Ford uh, says, "Sing pepper, duh." I don't even know what that means. I don't even know what that means. Darren. <laughs> so you said you can sing. I can sing. I used to be able to sing. Well, if you, I mean, it's like riding a bike, isn't it? Yeah, you just need, exactly. you just need practice for a while. <laughs> 
It's a what muscle. Kind, what like what do you like muscle. singing? What kind of music? Yeah. Uh, mostly country. Okay. I ran a karaoke show for, I don't know, I think two years back, many years ago. That's the multi-entrepreneurship. That's the, the multi, multi Yeah, I've done many things in my life. I was not always a graphic designer. <laughs> you need to do what John at Will It Grow does is host a karaoke party one night. There you go. Yeah, that would be fun. <laughs> I need a little bit of practice first. <laughs> what about you? I know you got a hidden, I know you got a hidden talent. Who me? No, the lady behind you. <laughs> <laughs> We're not talking about the cat. Most of my talents have gone by the wayside. That's not true. I used to sing. Used to. I want I want a video of both of you singing. A sing right? <laughs> right? A I think that we should have karaoke together. <laughs> oh God. You guys should host a karaoke party. <laughs> a karaoke I was live. When I saw the name of the farm. <laughs> la 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 la. <laughs> you know what's funny? When we named the farm, I did not and and really people started asking us kind of inferring thinking that we grow marijuana because apparently <laughs> la la is is another word for marijuana in some circles i did not know that but um i don't know well, that would have, i don't <laughs> 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 silhouette park farm says a, a singing video would be great <laughs> Look at that. It'll be coming out. Uh-oh, we don't want to get into John's karaoke night. <laughs> well, as long as it's not on a Friday, we're not we're not we're not impinging upon John. So John no, does a great go. job. Go back and look at some of John's lives. He he does a good job with his karaoke now. I have. Once I get more used to the lives, maybe we'll try that. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. I've only done a few of them so far. <laughs> Well, folks, what do you want to tell? So we got forty-three people still in here. What do you want to tell your adoring fans, Sharon and Sharon and Lori? Sharon, Sharon, I don't know. I've never had adoring fans before in my well, life. We got forty-three so. of them in here tonight. <laughs> we love you all. Thank you. <laughs> Thank it you for being fun. here. It would be fun to meet some of these people in person, but then maybe they'd get disappointed. You know, here's here's. It's funny you bring that up because that's one thing I'm, I'm, I like, I'm a very personable person, but I like to talk to people. Like if someone sends me a text message, I hate just texting back and forth with people. It drives me crazy because it takes me a lot longer to text with people than it does to just pick up the phone and, and, and have a conversation with them. I could, I can address in five minutes on the telephone what I can discuss in 20 minutes via text message and i much rather talk to people see people shake a hand give them a hug in person than i do any form of electronic so from that angle this is a tough year for me because i just like meeting people yeah, and he'll, uh, text, he'll text you back like maybe two or three times and after that if you text him again he's just going to call you yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's 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 my margin of error is about two to three texts. If it takes any more than that, I'm going to give you a call. <laughs> end the whole texting thing very quickly. Well, all of these uh, newfangled things we have now, like video chatting, you can at least see a person's demeanor. You can see their body language. You can see their face. You can hear the tone of their voice. And that makes a lot of difference in communication. It does, I absolutely. Know, right? They say that 95% of communication happens non-verbally. Right. It's kind of the 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 eye the lift of the eyebrows, the tone of the voice. Exactly. Like like my yeah. wife says to me all the time since we got married, was it's not what you say, it's how you say it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so true. That, <laughs> she calls she calls me out all the time on that. So well, folks, I am gonna end this. I promised you. A video clip oh yes oh. so this is how we're going to end this oh, and, no. and if you have not laughed yet which is highly oh, improbable gosh. this will make you laugh this is this is their channel this is uh <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> all right can you say good night can you say thank you for watching? <laughs> <laughs>
Thanks for watching. Can you say please subscribe? Just hang up. (laughs) (laughs) Please subscribe. (laughs) Like. Like. (laughs) Like the video. (laughs) Like the video? Yeah. How do you subscribe to like the video? Subscribe and like with a thumbs up. Okay. <laughs> Say that. And like, thumbs up. <laughs> yeah. And ring the notification well, bell. Hurry up and hang that up. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. I already said that. Bye now. Bye now. Bye. <laughs> That's one of my favorites, too. <laughs> I love that clip. <laughs> that was funny. That was, that was funny. funny. We have a few of those backyard chats. <laughs> that were fun. Well, that's, that's, at the, that's at the end of the Hungarian paprika video. And I'm yeah. cracking up laughing. So, well, this was fun, guys. I so much appreciate you all coming on. and. Uh, Thank you for having us. This was this was actually kind of fun. I was kind of. Did you not think it was going to be fun? Did you not want to come here? I know. <laughs> what what could not be funny about about spending an evening with two fat guys from Florida? <laughs> Speak for yourself. Are we, are we, are we are candy corner from you, aren't we? Uh, yes. Up in Vancouver Island. I yeah. Have, but you said that you're from the South. I'm from Missouri. Well, that's not the South. Well, it's more South than here. Well, I mean, <laughs> New York State is more South than here. <laughs> <laughs> or more South than you. <laughs> that's true, too. <laughs> that does not count. We do not call them Southerners. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I was Midwest. <clears throat> okay, all right. Yeah, North Dakota is south of you. Right? When I came to Canada, when I came to Canada, everybody thought I was from the south. Yeah, there's only the only people that are south of us is South Florida. That's, that's yeah. it. That's it. When you get into the Keys, and that's not even South Florida. That's just the Keys. Robert at Homestead Aquarius says Missouri is not the south. Yeah, it is not the south. <laughs> Robert, I agree 100% with you, and that's why when they put Missouri into the SEC conference of football, I just scratched my head. It don't fit. (laughs) It ain't the South. (laughs) Well, Well, I don't know what you guys started out, but Silhouette Farms just posted Lori is at 846 subscribers. So I don't know what you guys started out with, but I'm sure that's a few more than what we started with. Well, you started you started at 838 when I looked at you at about 10 o'clock this morning. So nice. So hopefully you'll hopefully you'll get another bump. So that would be awesome. So <laughs> well, we'll, we'll watch Lala Farm and yeah, I'm gonna have to go back and go through all the chat because we haven't been able to see it at all. Most definitely, there's a lot of people showing you guys some love. So if you have not already, head over to Lori's World, subscribe to their channel. There's 45 of you guys watching right now. Wow! Wow! So, so, 45 so of y'all watching. Can can you guys do something for me? Can you do like a a two person happy dance? <laughs> <laughs> Good night, you guys are awesome. <laughs> There's David when we need There's him. There's David when we need him. Hey, did, you, did you get him to do it? Who would he do it? No. no. <laughs> Sometimes like, I'm, I'm trying though. Just hang that thing up. <laughs> You watch how Lori Lori has to drag David into things. That's like Chelsea, my wife. She doesn't like being on YouTube either for the most part. And so, yeah, I have to drag her into pretty much every video that she's on. Yeah. I just don't give him a choice. I didn't give, I didn't, I don't know if you guys. I don't know if you saw our Christmas, the ornament video. Yeah. I didn't give Lala very much of a choice at the very beginning, telling her that joke either. So, <laughs> mom, mom, mommy, mom, mom, mom. <laughs> yeah, that was a perfect way to set that off for sure. All right, folks. So this this was fun. All right, Lori, mom, 
Yeah. Thank you. Bye. We'll see you Thanks again. so much, guys. All right, we're going to be looking for a singing video. Yeah. Uh, okay, I'm coming soon. I'll start practicing. Of a duo. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. All right, good night. <laughs> that was fun. That was fun. So, My Lord, they are contagious. They That laugh is just... Well, I told Rick when he asked me, you know, tell me about their channel. I said, you know, they do a lot of things, but the the thing that just pulls me into into that channel is just their laugh and their interaction and and it's just it is just a blast to watch um the tinker's wife thank you for stopping by um very very much um Ed, we got a couple people in here that uh aren't usually uh oh, we got little frenchie and big tech because she's coming up real soon she's coming up next week so yeah. we, and we got beheads outdoors I about just, nana grace Nona Grace has been in here in the past. Has she a few yeah. times? Okay. All I right. love Nona Grace's channel. Nona, Nona's just a no-nonsense lady. She did. She did. I know she, came, I know she came in and she got a lot of love from the uh, from the chat. Nona Grace did a a video. I believe it was last. I think it was last week. Might have been this week. Maybe over the weekend. Um, I'm not sure, but it was on manners. And I'm like listening to Nona talk. In her in her recording studio, I'm not sure. It looks looks like a book nook, is what I would call that. Um, and I was just, I was like clapping. Yeah, I know you get on it, get on because it's like everything that I was taught as a young person of what you should do in respect for other people. And um, it, it was just a really, really great from the heart video. And it's like you know, if 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 people treated each other with the respect that Nona's is talking about in that video, it would be a different world. It would be an absolutely different world because people would have more respect for themselves and for the other people that they interact with on a day-to-day -day basis. So no, that's a, that's a wonderful, wonderful video. So if you haven't seen that, go over and check that out. So, so who do we got upcoming? We got uh, uh, January 6th, which will be, Next Wednesday, Little Frenchie in Big Texas. So she was in here a little bit earlier. Looking forward to that one. Uh, one thirteen, we're going to have Micro Farmer. He was in here a little bit earlier. Castle Hives on one twenty. That's a beekeeping channel. Um, one twenty seven, Dusty Goat Homestead. That is a, a very small channel over in the Panhandle of Florida. We've got uh, Hickory Croft Farm and Conrad Homestead confirmed for first couple of weeks in February. And then we added one. I don't know if, if Jan is still in here, but Jan commanded me last night on her live to reach out to Lee's Arkansas Bound, which I did because she scared me. I was I was kind of afraid of the consequences if I did not reach out and and I did not want I didn't want the wrath of Jan to fall down upon me. And that was the that was the exact text in the email was I was demand I was commanded <laughs> I was commanded to reach out to you guys by Jane. Yep. That was in jest. It was it was funny. Um yeah but you know so I've I've seen their channel and I've interacted with them a little bit. It's just really, and I've said this before, it is so hard to interact with everyone. So I we try our best, um, but there's just not enough hours in the day. So I will never tell anybody I'm going to watch every one of your videos. I watch a lot of them. Um, a lot of times it's while I'm at work and I'm listening to them more than I'm interacting with them. For example, Silhouette Park Farm. I get on their live every every week, um, first thing in the morning. Um, but I don't interact with them because I'm driving to work um, while I'm listening to them in the morning. Um, and if I do interact, it's usually with an emoji or two. That's about it. Um, uh, so Paula said we're going to have to send our, our, our calendar to her. <laughs> <laughs> and then, so that's what we've got confirmed up now. If So we're scheduling right now into um february 17th is the last one we've got on the book so far and i'm going to stop soliciting until we get a few weeks in so i'm, I'm not going to ask anybody if you want to me to put you on our calendar then you reach out uh the criteria is any channel under a thousand subs uh if you want when, when you get with us right because we've had to turn down a couple that we're really, really close, and you know it's kind of a judgment call. But if you're if you're like at 995, then I probably won't put you on there because by the time 
a month and a half comes around, you're probably going to be over a thousand. Um, I want to contribute to people getting to that thousand. That's that's really important to us. Um, but that's the criteria. Less than a thousand subs. Um, if you want to be on here and you meet that criteria, send me an email and I will um, uh, I will you know, see about getting you on to that. So um, so you want to talk about the merch and do the giveaway, Rick? So I just posted in the comment section um, the website to our Teespring. If you guys want to go ahead and uh, check out some of our merchandise if you want to purchase it. Um, or you can just continue to tune in every uh, Wednesday. And uh, I think there's only been one day so far that we haven't done a, a giveaway. But you got to watch them. If you don't watch them, you don't get a chance. So um, right now we have the five t-shirt designs up we will be yep thank you paul Wills. just went ahead and did it again um hold on but, a second uh, boddington farm congratulations so they just they just cracked a hundred yesterday so that is awesome um if you want to come on shoot me an email i'm going to stop soliciting folks there's some of these that when i run across them i ask them if they want to come on but you know, we've got a lineup now going out for probably six weeks, seven weeks. So if you want to come on, let me know. Um, you guys head over to Down in Boddington's Farm, Down in, on Boddington Farm, and uh, subscribe to them. Help them. Uh, they're at 100 now. Help them get to, help them get to 140 because we got 40 people watching right now. So, um, but again, going back to the T-shirts, we got five designs up right now. Um, I'm going to be trying to get more up here shortly. I got one in mind. It'll be uh, it'll be Lalod. If y'all don't know what that is, you're gonna have to go back to uh, Papa cleaning the chicken barrel yeah. um, video. Figure out what Lalod means. Um, but uh, all the t-shirts have uh, different colors that you guys can go ahead and choose from, and they pretty much have every size that uh, most humans wear. So Jan from Jan from Simply Jan, um, Jan, I took I I'm a good listener. Um, I learned that from being a husband for 35 years, and I know when to take a woman serious. And I took you very serious last night. I reached out immediately to Lee's Arkansas Bomb because I didn't want to see what would happen if I didn't. So I took care of business for you, dear. All right, I'm sorry I interrupted. <laughs> it's all good. Um, so tonight again. We're going to go ahead and we're going to do a little giveaway, shirt giveaway, or a $10 Amazon gift card. Um, Michael Harris, I'm reading this just in. You are excluded. But I don't see Michael on here tonight, which is kind of surprising because he's on here. He was on earlier. Was he? He was. Michael if Harris. You are watching, if you are watching, Michael, you are excluded. And you're excluded from even answering. You cannot answer the question. Because I know you know it. Yes. <laughs> yeah, he he immediately, when when he was visiting the farm uh, a week and a half, two weeks ago, he immediately called it out as soon as he got onto the farm. So here's the question. The answer, again, will get you a shirt giveaway or a uh, shirt of your choosing off of uh, Teespring or a $10 Amazon gift card. Who is generally considered Papa's arch nemesis around the farm. So named because I named her my arch nemesis. <laughs> and again, we don't we don't ask these questions unless we have told you in a video. This one I'm this one should come up pretty quick. Uh, this I is heard. this is an older video though. It is so. an older video. This is an older video. So unless but, you went back and watched some of the older we ones, we talk about blank. We always refer to blank. Yeah, we've talked about blank all the chewy? time. It's not chewy. It's not chewy. Chewy. No, Chewy's spoiled no. rotten, but he's not my arch you, nemesis. I'm not going to say that Chewy is Lala's arch nemesis, but I can tell you that if there was one goat that Lala will not turn her back to, it's Chewy. She will not. It will not happen. The Tinker's Wife, thank you, thank you, thank you for coming in tonight. We had a blast. Just subbed. So this little Frenchie in Big Texas just subbed to down on Boddington Farm. So now you're one more over 100. So awesome. Awesome, awesome, thank awesome. Thank you, little Frenchie, Big Texas. 
All right. So while we're monitoring that, um, let me give you one. So this is not coming up automatically. So this might be tougher than I than I thought it would be. I will give you a clue. It's a female, and she assaulted me, which is why she's my arch nemesis. Yeah, I really wish I would have caught that on video. It is not Heat Seeker. Heat Seeker. Heat Seeker is my little buddy. He would. He doesn't. He's just. He's just a. He's just the piece of work. He's a lover all the way around. Yeah, yeah. He's like one of the only goats that we actually. Mama Lala can go walk out there and go. He he. And he will. Yeah, he, he, he follows. He follows. He follows here. Lala around like a dog. All those blanks sound like my final. My last final exam. <laughs> And, Darren said, no, LOL, Lala. <laughs> no, it is not Lala. She is not the one who assaulted me. <laughs> not in this video. <laughs> she just gets mad at me. She doesn't assault me. All right. So, as of yet, um, Ed says Wonder Woman. What a shot. She is. Here's another clue since we still have yet. To get the uh, answer in the comments, all right. I thought With people would get this. I figured it would be done by now. I mean, it's. I'm not even gonna get that clue yet. That'll be the next clue. Out of all of our goats, so it is a goat. She is oh crap! You just said it. So that's a that's a clue. That's a big all clue. Right. All right, that's a clue. It's a goat. She is the Wonder Woman of all the mama goats. What? No, no, you, no. Are you talking about come over here? Madeline? Yeah. Quit, quit guessing. This is yeah. our little. This is our little goat keeper. They can hear you, Madeline. Quiet, Marco. Hey, that's that is it. But that that's is one the, of them. But that's it's not. not oh, we've never even highlighted Fricka, so that must just Fricka is one of them. But Fricka is not not I think the Fricka one. Prob- Fricka maybe have uh, maybe stood out to uh, whiskey. Hey, Nona Grace, Nona Grace comes in with the answer. Yeah, it is the notorious Rose. Nope, uh, not Cloud. It is not the cloud. notorious Rose. It is Rose is actually our first animal spotlight that we ever did. Um, she's def in my opinion. Now, if you ask Papa, he's going to tell you something totally different. But uh, Rose, in my opinion, is by far one of our uh, least attractive goats, um, but she annihilated all of the other mamas. She's the only one that gave us triplets. Yeah. She's she's the um, only one that gave us triplets, and despite that, um, adjusted for weight, her kids per kid were all three of them, and she nursed every one of them to the full ninety day weaning weight, and all three of them placed in the top top ten percent in terms of weight. Um, so she did an incredible job last year. So we're hoping again um, to have another set of triplets out of out of Rose. But you know where where that happened with Rose is we were doing hooves one day, and uh, we took her up into the up into the gate chute and had her head chalked in, and uh, and or we were trying to get her head chalked in. We never really got it chalked in, which means, you know what that means is that they come up onto it, the scales are integrated into the goat handling chute, and on the front, there's these, there's this gate that closes in and then locks their head in so that they can't get out. Well, I went to close in the gates, and as soon as I went to lock them in, Rose got all of her feet up under her and just took off out the chute and just hit me right in the sternum. And this is a hundred and forty pound just, goat. Someone just stole something off your desk behind you. Get, get out of here, you little thief. <laughs> <laughs> get out of here. Such thievery. So he did it without you even noticing. I'm going to close the gate. Rose come out of that chute, hit me right in the sternum. Do you think I'm smart enough to give up? I didn't do that. So this is this proves how dumb I am. So I grab her around the neck. It's a 140-pound goat, and she took me to the ground from about four foot up into the air. And he, if you could picture this in your mind's eye, I'm laying flat on my back with a 140-pound goat wrapped around her neck, and she's just flailing her legs. What do you think my son did to help me? Nothing. Now, 
except that laugh. Is, that is not accurate. It is absolutely accurate. I'm on the ground trying, this goat's trying to kill me, and he's laughing at how this goat's <laughs> trying to kill me. <laughs> so after he was, after he stopped laughing, so it was like 30 seconds into this, I'm flailing oh on the ground God. with this goat on top of it. This is totally an exaggeration. So I'm flailing on the ground for like 30 seconds with this goat. He decides he's going to come over and help me. Darren, it was funny in retrospect. He comes over and he decides he's going to help me. So I finally stumble to my feet and I grabbed, I never let go of Rose. And I took her back around. I stuck her back up into the chute and that time I what locked a her in. drama queen. So she, she, that is, that is, she is a, what's that? <laughs> B heads outdoors, Rose the Destroyer. <laughs> yeah. so she, that was the only time that was honestly, I can honestly say, even while working with Einar and Jarl, the big books that we have, um, our main sires, I that is the only time that I have ever I gotta watch him so he doesn't steal stuff off my desk. Um, but uh that is the only time that I have ever actually been worried about you well working with the goats because i mean there's a four by four those are four by fours those aren't six by sixes right dad those are six by sixes out there no the those are four by fours on the chicken coop yeah because those are so there's four by fours that are concreted into the ground and pop it there he is norseman honey. honey we're gonna feature you next week in our opening buddy you got three minutes you got three minutes of our next video at the very beginning i'm getting rid of our intro and next week i'm getting rid of our intro and you're gonna get three minutes at the very beginning of our show i mean that's like that's like five super chat in the last six live streams so and if you want to if you want to come on to one of our future lives is you know give us shoot me an email norseman honey we'll get you on the calendar um so go ahead rick sorry anyway so again that's the i mean you have to, if you can imagine a four by four that's concreted into the ground, Papa gets hammered in the chest, like straight to the chest by this 145 pound goat, 140 pound goat, and hammers him as hard as she possibly could. I was, I, there's no way that I laughed at you for 30 seconds. I felt like no I was way. having a heart attack. She hit me so hard. No so, way. That says this should be an Olympic sport. I bet you didn't mess your hair up, did you, Rick? I don't mess my hair up. My hair is like, my hair is like, it just goes right back into place, Ed. That's what 40, had the same that's haircut, what 53 though. years of hair training does. You've, you've literally had the same haircut, though, since I met you. Yeah, yeah, since you met me. Um, somebody else said something in here. Robert said, <laughs> almost that a great Florida man, Florida man's goat has had enough. Film at 11. <laughs> well, that's a funny video and you know that's that's the notorious rose so nona grace i'm gonna be in touch with you and and we'll either get you your choice one of the five designs of shirts uh or an amazon gift card so i expected people to come up with that one pretty quick that would be that would be pretty that surprised me that we had to give it that, that, that long so um too bad you didn't catch that on film lee's arkansas bound rick still says that to this day that he regrets not having the camera at that moment in time, um, that would have been, if that went into a short, I would have 6 million hits. That's, I was I was about to say that same exact thing. You see some of these things, and I know, I know that everybody that does shorts looks at some other shorts and goes, why doesn't mine have more views? That was one of those shorts that there would have been no way it would not have gone viral. Yeah. One of those like million million view shorts so um but all right let's move on from rose the notorious rose the rose the destroyer so, so i was uh, so that's my story of rose assaulting me um all right so last week we said so january or i'm sorry december 25th was our official start scheduled start earliest date that we could have possibly had kids on the ground so here we are another week we still don't have any kids on the ground so um and we saved this so we still got 35 people in here so last week right at the end of the live stream i announced um that 
we are, we're going to have a little contest. You want to, you want to extend it to this week since we still don't have kids? Yeah. It, 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 right. No, you're good. And, uh, do you, well, we just got to know it on last week's video. Oh, we can, we can, we can do it on, we can do it on both. Yeah. There has to be babies by next week. All right. So here's, so here's the deal. A lot, we did not have anywhere near this in here this time last week. And we had, we basically announced a little contest that we're having. Um, I think there was probably 15 people in here this time last week. Um, so we're going to extend that since we do not have babies on the ground yet. Um, our kidding season should have started Christmas Day. We still don't have any, any on the ground. So the competition is how many kids, total kids, will we have um, during this kidding season? That's all that, That's all I'm going to say because we had the discussion on last week's video about how many were pregnant and all of that jazz. Uh, I'm not going to give you that information, but if you're still interested in if you're if you want to join this, then put your um, put your comments or your guess in either one of these two videos of what of what uh, how many kids we're going to have by the end of this kidding season, which is scheduled to end. Um, the latest due dates that we could have would be the end of the first week of February. Um, so obviously, when they went in and they and we we put the bucks in with the does, um, they did not initially get to work. <laughs> there was a there was some lag time. Um, so what we're going to do is that the end of our kidding season, we'll tally up the total number of kids that we have, and then we're going to go in and we're going to look at all of the guesses that people put in. Um, put your guesses in the comment section for this video or the last video last week's with Kid Family Farm. Um, and they've got to be in before our first kid drops. So if you delay doing this, you delay putting your guess in. Um, if we have kids tomorrow, you can't come in two days from now and, and say, this is how many there are. It's got to be prior to the first kid dropping. And then uh, we're going to go in. We're going to take all of those guesses. And if we have a tie, then we are going to uh, basically draw the name of the people that guessed, of the, of the subscribers that guessed correctly um, um, and we're other than that, it's going to be the closest video. So it could be one off high or one off low. If they're the same, then we're going to have all of those people in that drawing. But um, that's how we're going to do it. So it's all right, the so all right. So I see a lot of people, a lot of people putting guesses, guesses into the comment section right now, the live comment section. When the video ends, that's when you need. That's when you need to go ahead and make your. Your, your guest yeah not not in the this not in not in the live chat because the only way that i'm gonna be able to see the live chat is if i watch this entire video from the time we announced the giveaway to now so once the video ends that's whenever y'all need to go ahead and comment in the in the normal comment section Patrick. below the video and that'll be your guess so so don't put them in here put them in the lot put them in the chat or in the in the in the not in the live chat, in the discussion or the, the comment section of the video itself, um, because that's where I'm going to be looking for guesses. So um, upcoming videos, uh, we're going to have some baby goats, and uh, hopefully in the next week or so we'll have some of those. You know, one that I've been talking about for a while is now that we're in the middle of winter, people are starting to use some chick heaters. So I've got a couple of videos that I want to do on chick heaters and uh, chicken heating lamps. Um, you know, the pros and cons, pitfalls, and and, and the benefits of, of both. Um, and we've got one that's kind of in development right now that's dealing with our mouse trap. Um, that's going to be kind of enlightening because it's not doing what I expected it to do. So that's all the, that's the teaser on that. So anything else, Rick? Um, that'll probably be Monday, uh, tomorrow. Um, tomorrow's video will be somewhat of an update on me and Chelsea's property in the back. Uh, so there's been a few things that have been not added, but we've made a little bit, uh, a, a, a few, few changes back there installing a culvert and whatnot so you guys just kind of stay tuned and then you just get to see the, the property and and uh there's also i'm not gonna say a special guest because he's in he's around a lot of the videos but uh um rick isaac makes a, a special appearance tomorrow <laughs> so that'll be that'll be pretty cool i have not seen that kid 
Everybody, I mean, everybody out there, we got, we got a relatively older crowd that has kids or have had kids, uh, knows, um, especially if you've had kids since like the 90s, um, that video games like engulf your child's brain. Um, and, and is your speaker on that? I'm like echoing real bad. Nope. No? It's in YouTube. Maybe I just have a loud mouth. Is that better? Much. It was on a little bit. Okay. Okay. Um, but, uh, you know, Rick Isaac, he, he engulfed himself in video games as much as we will allow him, which is none right now. Um, but uh, we have kind of forced him outside in this video, and he busted his ever-loving butt uh, cleaning up debris, and we had a huge fire. Um, so that'll be fun to watch. Uh, hey, I didn't... He, uh, Morris Patch of Heaven came in, so welcome. Not sure if it's Joyce or Jean, probably Joyce, but welcome. Glad to have you. But we got that, and then, like I said, or like Papa was uh, mentioning, the uh, the rat trap, uh, a very, very, very unique rat trap. Um, that should be coming out uh, Monday. I'm actually, I'm actually going to do a comparison of that trap mm -hmm. and one that I saw on another channel, Two and a Half Acres. I don't, I haven't seen them in here tonight. That's another great channel. Um but they do another kind of five gallon bucket trap and, and it worked really effectively on their place. So I'm going to actually build I know the one we did, didn't the one I'm so I'm going to build another one and uh, did we catch any test that we didn't catch any in that. So that was, that was didn't they eat bucket. the side of the plastic. Yeah, they, uh, the the rats ate a hole in this five gallon bucket about that big around. I'm going to, I think the video that I did actually shows that. Um, so that'll be interesting. And, yeah. uh, I'm, I'm going to start doing another series. Probably, probably won't start till next month. Um, but I'm redoing my entire workshop. Um, you don't see a whole lot of video inside of my workshop, frankly, because up to this point, I haven't wanted people to see what's in there because I'm afraid that people around here will break it. <laughs> so, so um, but we're gonna. I'm going to do a series on on kind of. Uh, uh, updating my workshop, put doing a whole what's called a French cleat system. So that's I've got it now, but I'm going to redo a lot of my mounts in that, um, make it a little bit more efficient flow workflow wise. So you better make it more efficient. You get me and you are about to be busting tail back there making furniture. No, you're going to be busting. No, tail. me and no both. No, of us. you're going to be busting. Tail. I'm I'm a consultant on that operation. So you're just going to stand behind me telling me what to do. Pretty much. That's treat me like that of all people all right we're gonna sign off folks <laughs> thank you for coming in really 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 appreciate it and um this was awesome this was a blast i knew i knew i knew laurie and her mom would be fun and uh and they did not disappoint so um thank you all for hanging out with us tonight and uh we will see you next week are you going to do a, a tech thing this yeah this there'll week? be a there'll be a should be a tech review um should be a tech review again. It's just one of those weeks where it's been uh, hectic. But yes, uh, there should be a tech review on um, Sunday. Uh, I haven't figured out what yet it's going to be on. So if you guys uh, if you guys want something specific, uh, go to the last uh, help you grow and um, tell me what you want to see. So look at Twin Brook Acres. I very much appreciate that. You can tell the channels that watch us all the time because Twin Brook Acres says. Don't forget the golden rule. And, sir, you are absolutely correct. Always remember, treat others as you would like to be treated. Good night, folks. Good night, guys.